Hi guys, welcome to another news. A civic group, the Coalition for True Governance (CTG), has called for impeachment of the Imo State Governor Opusodima for failing to protect the lives and property of citizens and frustrating the life of its workers by refusing to pay salaries. The group also called on the Nigerian security agencies to beam their searchlights in Imo State following a recent spat of killing and amid the workers' strike. This was contained in a Senate signed by its convener, Charles Odidenibo, noting that the governor had a responsibility to ensure the safety and well-being of the people of Imo State, as well as to ensure that public services were functioning effectively. CTG further called on lawmakers in the state to rise up and consider the options of impeachment should the spat of insecurity in the state continue. The statement reads, it is our duty to express our concern and disappointment with the recent spat of killing and the ongoing worker strike in Imo State. We strongly condemn the lack of action and leadership demonstrated by Governor Opus Odima in addressing these issues which have caused significant disruption and fear in the state. It is unacceptable that innocent lives are being lost on a regular basis and that workers are being forced to take to the streets to demand better working conditions and pay. The governor has a responsibility to ensure the safety and well-being of the people of Imo State as well as to ensure that public services are functioning effectively and efficiently. Just a few weeks back, five policemen and a couple were gruesomely killed in Ungawala area of the state, and this is really disheartening. Instead of taking decisive action to address the issue, Governor Opu Zodima has shown a lack of commitment to the welfare of his constituents. The governor's failure to provide adequate security measures to protect citizens has resulted in a rising trend of violent crimes, including kidnapping and murders. Furthermore, the ongoing worker strike has caused significant disruption to public services, with health care and education being severely affected. This has left many vulnerable people without access to essential services and has put the lives of patients and students at risk. It is disappointing that the governor has not taken proper steps to address this concern of workers, instead choosing to ignore our their demands and failing to engage in meaningful dialogue. This has only served to exacerbate tensions and prolong the strike, causing further hardship and suffering for the people of Imo State. The lawmakers in the state are there for a reason. They are there to serve the people. If the governor continues failing in his duties, the option of impeachment should be considered, the statement added. The insurgency in southeastern Nigeria is a military conflict that broke out in the city of Olu, Imo State, Nigeria, on the 22nd of January 2021, when the Nigerian army moved to crush the paramilitary wing of the indigenous people of Biafra the Eastern Security Network. The conflict escalated after the ESN managed to repulse the initial push by the Nigerian army, but the indigenous people of Biafra ended the initial crisis by unilaterally withdrawing the ESN from Olu. After a weeks of quiet, Nigeria launched a military offensive in the area to destroy the ESN. On the 19th of February 2021, the indigenous people of Biafra declared that as that day, a state of war existed between Nigeria and Biafra. Three weeks later, another separatist group declared the formation of Biafra Interim government, with, which was subsequently endorsed by indigenous people of Biafra. Since then, the Biafran separatists have begun to form alliances with other separatist groups in Nigeria and Cameroon. Despite these developments, the the separatists claim that their militant operations are mainly aimed at defending local communities from armed robbers, armed headers, and bandits instead of fighting the Nigerian government. In the late June, the news people of Rafa leader Khan was arrested by Interpol and added over to Nigerian authorities. 
the Imo state government consists of elected representatives and appointed officials responsible for the government of Imo state, Nigeria. Imo state has the population of over 4 to 5 million people and is one of the 36 states that makes up the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The state's government is composed of the executive, legislative and judicial branches while power are vested by the constitution in the House of Assembly, the Governor and the High Court. The judiciary operates independently on the executive and the legislature and the local level elected officials are in charge of local government areas. The executive branch is headed by the governor, assisted by the deputy governor both elected. The governors appoint the principal state officers, the head of prior starters, the state-owned bodies, judicial officers, permanent secretaries and members of the executive council with the exception of the deputy. The civil service is administered by the head of service, a career civil servant which each ministry managed by a permanent secretary. The commissioner is responsible for the policy implementation while the permanent secretary provided, provides functional continuity and is responsible for operation within the ministry. The Governor of Imo State is the highest ranking officer, officer, the Chief Executive Officer and the Chief Security Officer of the state. He wields significant influence in matters relating to the governance of the state. As in most presidential system, the Governor is both the head of government and the head of state. The Governor is empowered by the Constitution to proceed over the Executive Council as well as to appoint, dismiss or reappoint its members, excluding the deputy governor. In addition, the governor may sign legislation passed by the House into law or may veto. Legislation automatically becomes law after 30 days with or without the governor's signature. A vote by a two-third majority of the House can overrule the governor. The same vote is required to initiate an impeachment process of the gov governor or his deputy. In all cases where the chief executive is unable to discharge his or her duties, the deputy governor assumes the office of acting governor until the governor resumes duty or until the election of a new one. Since achieving statehood, Imo State has had a total of seven governors. And that will be all for now. Please let us know your thoughts and your opinion via the comment section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel and I will see you on the next news. Bye for now.